on YouTube. Turn this light here. One more time, guys. Girls and girls and girls and girls. Yeah. Dude, that car need to calm down. They said I drive the DNS, dude. You need to calm down, driver. Anyway, I'm back. A lot of owner operators struggle in this business because they don't understand the game of uh, being an owner operator and they don't even realize they're in the game. Now, I hear some people say, I don't wanna play games. Ain't nobody playing games out here. Who playing games, who got time for that? News flash, if you're on the operator, you playing an owner operator game, you in a game whether you know it or not. That's how the game go. All of it's a game. And it always said, once you realize, once you understand, and once you know the rules to the game, the game changes. Like, if you get these ties right here, my fact, let me hit these. If you get these tires, guys, right here, it's a button under there. I did a video on how to turn it off. It's a button under here, guys. It usually sits in the front, but if not, it's up under that somewhere. You can turn the auto air off. But you can see on that tire over there, it's still a little low. So what you can do is disconnect it from here, from the stem, right here. Disconnect this right here, and then disconnect it from right there. And then put manual, manually put air in this tire, or that, or that tire back there. And then you, if you want to, you can hook this back up. Cause sometimes air come out, be coming out of this. So you hook it back up and they keep it on it while you're rolling. But anyway, that ain't the part, that's part of the video, but let's knock this box down guys. Watch your hands when you're doing this. See, all that massive power, all that massive weight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. All right guys, so I dropped the other uh, box off. So now I gotta find this box real quick and I'm gonna get to the point in the video. And say this real stuff, guys, uh, it, it has its challenges, it has its days, but you know, you ain't careful, you can lose a lot of a lot of time and money doing this business, man. But uh, anyway, that's what it's purpose of these videos, so to help you guys out, in case you guys happen to care about it. But anyway, let's find this box real quick, guys. All right guys, here we go. I have found the box, man, but why is it a, like, why is it a, a thing on one thing right there? See my light, my pigtails, a TL, something? I hope that don't mean I gotta get no flips or nothing, man, but if it is, it don't matter what this is right here, you guys ain't gonna feel it. I'm just hoping I don't have to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know that, I don't know why that's on there, but anyway, this is the box, guys, so let's see what's going on with this you dig, you know? That's a recap back there, but you know, I ain't worried about it, as long as it ain't flat and it's good to go. I ain't worried about it, make sure that pin locked. Real quick guys, I get to the point of view, I'm glad this box right here. Once I get emails and stuff and questions about certain parts of the rail yard that I got the stuff on the channel, but I guess they so far back in the archives that a lot of people don't go back there and look. And this is one of the things that was brought up. Look, when you go to empty, I'm gonna get to the point where, you know, drivers, man, truckers need to be exposed to like more things, you know, they have, feel like they got more options. But anyway, I'll get to it in a minute. When you about to get an empty, guys, some of these, some of these empty depots, not necessarily reels per se, they consider reels, but I call them like uh, third party reel things. Like where they may accept boxes for the real yard, you know, so they have to check this stuff. And sometimes they have a person out there checking this stuff for you. So if you're a company, there's some things you got to understand and realize this. But like I say, it's your company, you may be a small outfit, or you may not have no drop yards and stuff all over the place. You got to realize something. Some, sometimes these boxes get refused at, at these places, like they check the lights, they check how you roll the tires, make sure they know it's nothing, no, no crazy run flats and no flats and stuff like that. And make sure your door, your door stuff is, um, your hinges stuff not messed up. But they also look inside. Now if inside the box is where a lot of problems come into play. Sometimes, like this box right here look pretty decent. But sometimes inside these boxes, they be like a lot of, sometimes like a, either holes up top or holes on the floor. And that's where a lot of guys run into like a problem. So let's just say you get to a, uh, a depot, a uh, yard, rail yard depot, and they refuse your box. You gotta keep this in mind. You gotta understand what you're gonna do with that box. You gotta figure out where you're gonna put it, where you're gonna take it. Are you gonna be able to get the box fixed, try to bring it back? Are you gonna find another yard and able to take it? So long story short is, in case things don't go too smooth, you don't want this one box tangling up your one truck or two trucks. And you don't want to drop it anywhere because you're responsible for that box so you get it returned to a, a depot safely, whether it's a rail yard or a third party. And otherwise, somebody will get charged for it, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't be responsible for that, but 
And if you're a comp, if you're a driver, whether you're a company driver or an operator, you gotta make sure you get paid for that. Sometimes they may have you drop this in a rail yard somewhere or a depot, and they refuse the box and they say, "Well, take it over here." And you take it over there, and you don't get paid for it. Ask me how I know, and I'll tell you the same, baby. I'll tell you the same. I thought I, I thought I'd share that, guys. But anyway, another whole. The purpose of this video is uh, let me get away from these doors. Purpose of this video, guys, is like guys, truckers need to be more. They need to be exposed to more things. Now, what I mean by that is. If a trucker feel like the company they with or what they doing right now is not working, we don't. A lot of times we don't go outside of like outside the industry. We just only stick to trucking stuff. You look on your YouTube or your Facebook, it's all trucking stuff. That's exposure to a certain way. But if you do be exposed in that way, I would say get around some people who actually making some stuff move, who making some stuff happen on you know in trucking. Don't get around the people that's in trucking talking. Ah, oh, everything's everything's going down. Everything's just poop. Ah, boo, boo, boo. But they ain't got no solutions. No, don't be exposed to that. But exposure to like some positive guys who actually winning in trucking. Try to find them guys out here. Guys that's really trying to find other ways to make money in trucking without actually driving the truck. Find them guys. They out here. That's exposing yourself to something that's better and greater that you get reap the benefits even in your personal life. You know what I'm talking about? As well as business or professional life. Not only trucking stuff, but also get exposed to like other industries too. Like me, surprisingly, you guys may may not believe this, but. On my YouTube, a lot of people I follow, I don't follow a lot of truckers. For one, I'm doing trucking, so you know. And like I said all the time, I'm not, I don't consider myself a truck driver. I'm a person that drives a truck. I'm like a Mavin. I like being a Mavin. I like, I'm like being like, knowing other things. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, exposure, guys. Trucking, you get exposed, because when the market is down like it is, like it's a really tough market right now, we got to figure, most guys feel like, man, I, I got to switch companies, but they're like, I only want to switch companies because I know it's slow everywhere. But be honest with you, it's, it's a lot of, again, it's exposure. Every company not as slow as all, every company not as slow equally. You know what I'm saying? But if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody else, you may find out about the company who ain't so slow that actually might need drivers because they're behind. But as a whole right now, most of the companies are operating on a slow level, on a slower than average level. I just say that. But you won't know that till you expose yourself. Even outside of just trucking, like I would say, Get around to get in the community of people who actually making things move and who making things shake. And they, they all may not even be truck drivers. Oh, shout out, before I say that, guys, shout out to our subscribers uh, that I see you guys out here. I was brand to one today. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you for coming up to me. And if I see you guys and see me in the streets, guys, just let me know, hey, from YouTube, so I know who you are. Cause I'm gonna look at y'all crazy. Like, what you, what you walking up to me for? You know what I'm talking about? And I hope you don't hit my truck. Cool, don't hit it, don't hit it. Cool. He look kind of close from right here. I know looks could be deceiving, but he looked pretty close. But anyway, anyway, shout out to your brother for coming up to me, man. I, I appreciate that. And guys, but like I say, this YouTube thing, and I'm, I'm gonna get back to it in a minute. This YouTube thing could be rough, guys. I ain't gonna lie. You get a lot, you see a lot of numbers, a lot of analytics. Sometimes they ain't always in your favor, you know what I'm saying? But then I always run into somebody who always say, hey man, I appreciate you what you're doing out here. I appreciate your videos. And it just keeps me going. So shout out to all you subscribers out there who I meet out here in the streets. Yeah, you gotta expose yourself to other guys who actually are making things happen. I always look at the Debbie Downers. You know, it's because, it, don't get me wrong, the market, and anybody know me, they know, trucking is not my, it's not on top of my list of one of the most things I'm really just happy to do right now. It was when I first got into it, I was a diehard trucker. I turned the building sideways and drive it. But, you know, over years, you get, the energy kind of beats you up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And it's still, it's still all about how I perceive it, but I ain't gonna lie, they give you, they, this industry give you a couple kicks to the groins, man. You be like, hey, after a while, you say, hey, that hurts. Anyway, I digress. But anyway, exposure, guys. If guys get out, the, get out their comfort zone to get exposed to other industries, other things, you may find out something else you may like. You know, but I always hear this. Where else am I going to make this type of money? It's a lot of things. That's what exposure come in at. It's a, it's a lot of guys that I talk to. I don't know about all the trucking guys out there, but I'm talking about me personally. I know a lot of guys personally that drive trucks that have been driving over five to seven over seven years, I just say that. That's a good number. I like seven. Over seven years that they can walk away from trucking and do something that's making more than what they're making now, working less hours, and be able to spend more time doing things they enjoy, they will go in a heartbeat. But a lot of them don't know how to find other exposures to get out that situation. They feel like, I'm going to keep going through this. At the end of the day, if you ain't careful, you, you will be caught in a box of this thing called trucking. And it's just, that's just go across any industry, but I'm talking about trucking because this is a trucking and life channel. Anyway, 
don't get put in a box. You have to understand that exposure is everything, guys. You got to get exposed to more things. You'll find out there's a lot more things out here to do that you probably be able to do. Even in trucking, you don't always have to drive a truck to make the money. There's plenty of guys making way more money than we make, and they ain't driving a truck, but they work in transportation. I let that sink for a minute. Anyway, you stopping by for the first time. As I always say, guys, hit that subscribe button while you in here. Don't come through while to see you, baby. Hit that button while you in there. Also, two off of one one coach for company drivers or own operators who want direction the way you want to go in this business. If you need some direction, you need some coaching, how did your boy? I get you right. And expose you to some more things. You know what I'm talking about? Shameless plug. Anyway, I YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on with you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.